Hi, Verbling. Hope you're all having a great day today. My name is Lauren, and this is an intermediate speaking class. But I did say in the class description that advanced speakers are welcome. Um, the class today, the whole point of the class is to give you an opportunity to express yourself and tell me what it is in the world. If you could change one thing, what would it be? So we're going to have a, a discussion about this and you will have the opportunity to ask me questions like how do I express this or how do I express that, different things. And uh, hopefully this will be a lot of fun. I'm excited to hear all of your ideas. And we have Andre. Hi, Andre. Hi. How are Hi. you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Thank good. you for asking. And about you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Have you prepared what you're going to talk about? Yes. Yeah? Yes, all day long. Really? Yay! Yeah. You're so dedicated. Yes. It's, <laughs> it's really, really necessary. <laughs> good, good. And I know we've been talking about getting more speaking practice. So yes. this is great. This yes. is great. I and need if to you, improve. If you have any questions, make sure you ask me like about how to express yourself and things like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good, great. Um, and for everyone who is just watching right now, um, you can become a Verbling Premium member and this allows you to make reservations uh, whenever you want. So as you can see, Andre is the first person in the Hangout because uh, he made a reservation for this class. So he is a Premium member. Um, yes. and he, it, Do you like being a Premium member? Yes, it's for me it's so helpful. Yeah, because you get because to go in any class that you want. Yes, and the, you can organize your time much better. Mm, yeah. Your, your schedule. Mm -hmm. Some of my other students have said that. They said, you know, having premium has been great because you get to go home and know that you will get into the class yes. instead of planning to go in the class and then not getting into any of the classes. Yes, and the, today I... I saw your class right now, and mm -hmm. I could make, uh, I could, uh, I book the my place here. You could just quickly just went and booked it. Yes. That's great. That's so great. Good. I'm glad that it, that it has been working. So, um, for everyone watching, you can go to verbling.com/premium. I'll put it in the chat right now. So verbling.com slash premium, that will allow you to make reservations to make sure that you are able to get into class, every class. Um, okay, so we have a few more people joined us in the Hangout. We have Ahmed. Hi, Ahmed. Hi. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, actually. I've been studying English all the day. All day, really? Yes, I would join uh, uh, classes in Verbling and other websites. Wow, that's great. That's great. Good. I'm glad that uh, that you're on a roll. This is an expression. You are on a roll. That means if you think about something rolling, it means you are you are continually benefiting. You are doing well and in a continuous way. I'll put it in the chat here. Thank you. Like that. Ahmed is on a roll. <laughs> um, okay, let's continue. So we have Blanca. Welcome back, Blanca. Hi, Lauren. Hi. Glad to see you. How are you doing today? Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> good, good. Yay. Excellent. That's a good response. And we have uh, Huyen. Huyen, I have not seen you in a while. How are you doing today? Yeah, hello. Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. Good. I think it's because the time difference is great between you and I. That's why. I think you're right. <laughs> you're from Japan? I'm from Vietnam. 
Oh, Vietnam. No. You know, I taught English in Japan, and now I think everyone who is in Asian countries are from Japan. So I'm sorry. <laughs> so you are from Vietnam. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. So we have a big time difference. What time is it for you right now? It's six a.m. Wow. Good for you. Mm. That's amazing. We have such dedicated <laughs> verbling students. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and welcome back, Halweni. Hi, Halweni. Hello, Miss. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. And you? Good. Um, Halweni, I'll just let you know, your speaker is kind of, it's not very loud, or your, your microphone, sorry, is not very loud. So maybe if you're speaking, I might not hear you. So just speak close to your microphone like this. No, you hear me? Yep. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. I do. It's just it's it wasn't as loud, but that's okay. That's the it's no problem. No big problem. Thank you. You're welcome. And we have Juan. Hello, 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 Hi. teacher. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm pretty fine. Thank you. Good, good, good. And we have uh, Oguz. Hi, Oguz. Hi. Hi, how are you doing today? Fine, very well. What about you? I'm doing well too. Thank you. Thank you. And we have Pablo. Hi, Pablo. Hello. Nice to, uh, nice to meet you. I have a class with you, I think. I think so too. You look very familiar. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes uh, you, I didn't have the camera, but you, you, it was a pronunciation class. Oh, I remember. Okay. Yes, yes, I remember. Yes. Okay, yes, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. How are you? How are you? I'm very well. I'm very well. Thank you so much. Um, great. And we have uh, Samir. Welcome back, Samir. I also haven't seen you in a while. Hi, hi. How are you? Hi, Lola. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. How have you been? I am good. I think it is difficult to get. Uh, uh, a spot in verbal class. Sometimes, I try, yes. try, I try always, but I can't. I, maybe I, I will uh, get a reservation. Yes, um, in the past, um, maybe three weeks, maybe one month, we have been so busy, and it, it probably is good just to help you with planning to uh, make a reservation, but it's up to you. It's up to you. I'm glad that you made it into this class now. Yes. And I am waiting uh, for a beginner class to, uh, for you. Oh, great. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I just wanted to tell everyone something before we start class. Um, Google has made a new um, feature, a feature let, spelled like this. A feature is when... Um, they add something that is supposed to make it better. For example, the YouTube app, the YouTube app is a feature. Now they have added a feature that is not good and it makes it impossible for us to type and talk at the same time. It is very, very annoying because when you start typing, your computer will hear you typing. It will detect that you are typing and then it will put you on mute automatically. So you can watch. As soon as I start typing, it's going to... Did you see that, how I went on yes, mute? Yeah. So as soon as I start typing, I go on mute. So, so if I ever need... Hmm? That is only for you or for all students, for everyone? Well, it's funny because I, it's supposed to be for everyone. So it will probably happen to all of you. But, um, so if you are talking and it is your chance to talk, do not type at the same time because um, it, it will probably cause problems. It will probably put you on mute. But I think Andre, sometimes it does not mute Andre. Hi. Hi. Andre, I noticed sometimes when you're talking it doesn't mute you. Yes, that depends on the... I'm. Uh, I know that it just uh, if I be writing the in the verbing chat, it is speaking at the same time. 
Mm. Maybe uh, if you're writing in the another site, the Google uh, the, uh, don't do that. Yeah, I tried that because I tried typing on another program in my computer, but it wouldn't let me. Hmm. Yes, just just inside the, the uh, Google Hangout. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I I want I want everyone to know that that I. I cannot do both at the same time, so I'm going to have to stop talking and then type if I ever need to type to someone, okay? So I'm very sorry about that. And trust me, I am very angry about this. This is my angry face. <laughs> Don't be angry. <laughs> Don't be angry. <laughs> oh, no. great. Just smile. So I think that we have uh, we've said hello to everyone in the hangout at this point. Um, so as you know, this is one of my my favorite um, topics to talk about. We're talking about if you could change one thing in the world. So if you could say you could you could there was one thing in the world that you could change, or maybe that you could get rid of. Get rid of means to stop this thing from existing, to get rid of something. Have you heard that before? No. Mm. Yeah. No. I have an answer for that. If may I speak? Mm-hmm. I will change my president of all and all his governments. <laughs> the vice president, <laughs> the minister of economy, every Everyone. That's a very good one. Everyone. Yes. Wow. So let's start with. We'll start with you then, Pablo. So you said. So can you explain to me a little bit about what's going on in Argentina right now? In Argentina right now, are strikes over strikes. Uh, last week I had in one uh, million millions of, of people, I think, or maybe one million people. I don't know. All the. Um, Plaza de Mayo, all the center of Belisco, all that, all that, uh, the center of the of the city, full of people, uh, striking ag against the president and against uh, everything. She, she wants, she wants to take all the country for herself. She's insane. She's crazy. Uh, she wants to uh, put a. Uh, uh, a new law that do uh, you know? In every country, we you have the uh, uh, the powers, legislative, uh, executive, and and shush. Uh, the three powers. The three powers. Yes, yes. Uh, executive, legislative, and shush. Uh, and just executive, le executive, legislative, judicial. What is does anyone know what that is in English? Yes, um, it's uh, li like in, in the, the United States, we have the uh, White House and the court, court major. Oh, okay, so like yes. different powers, different powers what, in government. Yes, what she wants to do is to, is to own the, the justice. To the own justice. the justice. The justice. Um, so you yes. can you can say it like this. When you do the J sound, it sounds like a D almost first, like a D and I, can, I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Of course, because I'm <laughs> typing. So when you yeah. make that sound, it's like a D, like a D, and then the J, like this. J, J. Justice. Not sh. The sound you are making is S H. Justice. The sound Justice. you were making was like SH. So I, I want you to try to make it like this. Like, uh, um, again, if you were to do the D sound, put your tongue in that place, like this, da, da, and then mm -hmm. try making that J. 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 So you're, you're doing the sh. and I want it to be like a forced sound. Like you're going to force the sound out of your mouth like this. Ja. Ja. <laughs> Good. We can we can practice that sound. I can do that. it. I That's can okay. do it. You will. It, One day you will. She wants to, to take the justice with all the the corrupt governments. Pablo. Uh, she, she, you know. Do you know that you are from Brazil, right? See, si, uh, 
you know the the situation here in yes, Buenos Aires. Uh, yeah. I think that the, the sound is uh, like uh, when we speak in in, in Spanish show uh, the Argentina people will say show. Do you yes, know? Show. Yes. The uh, it's it's the the, uh, almost the same sound. Yeah, just justice. It's, it's almost the same, but I, I can do it. <laughs> yes, all right. Um, Blanca's right. Try saying the Y sound. Like the Y right. sound. Uh, justice. How, how the do you Y make... sound? Yeah. How sure, do you make... like I say, sure. Justice. Oh, okay. So maybe you don't have the J sound, but that's okay. We'll do that in another class. Right now, you're expressing yourself, and I, I can see that it's frustrating for you to very, um, very. Have, have this. So I don't know anything about Argentinian politics. May I ask something before? Uh, I mean, uh, before Pablo to, uh, talk about this mm -hmm. topic. Mm -hmm. Right now or later? Very, oh, um. Very. So where you said before he he talks about his topic. But you can yeah. ask later. You can go now. Okay, okay Pablo. Um, so, as I know, your president was reelected. Why did it happen if you are not very happy with her government? No, she was reelected for uh, for the 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 forty fifty four percent of the people. But that people uh, is. Uh, majority are not from Argentina, are from uh, uh, Paraguay, Bolivia. Uh, uh, the president let let him come here, and they bring him bring them the documents to vote, and she makes laws to vote for the. It's, it's very difficult to explain for the. Is that possible? The, Foreign people voting. In your country. Yes, 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 and she makes a law to to vote for uh, children from 16 years old, because if mm. uh, the that part of society, she she gives them um, a a plan that is uh, like uh, one one yes, she gives them like, she gives she gives them like uh, one. Uh, one hundred thousand dollars, for example, a month, and they vote him. Uh, it's all corruption. That's a lot of corruption. It's very like difficult. Um, what? A lot of corruption. I didn't. Find you know it the, was the, so the, big. the the money the money for the uh, when you uh, how do you call it? when you uh, jubilarse when you retire retired the money. Uh, is in the AFIP, uh, uh, is the place that uh, goes the the retirement money of the of the country, and she takes that money and give give her to uh, another people that is not from there, from them, you know. Uh, you you don't have idea what what is going on in Argentina. He's very corrupt. It sounds very corrupt. Really corrupt. It sounds no, so, you don't so, have so. idea. Oh no, I know I don't. I'm you so... have to live here to know what it is. Nobody wants her. And right now, I I'm a, a TV show in the Sundays with uh, Jorge Lanata, that is a, a very prestigious uh, re reporter, and uh, he's making a research of all all the money that these people are uh, robbing and laundering, and goes to uh, accounts in Panama. And in Belize, in that uh, that places that uh, how do you call it? Uh, the, the banks are for laundry people, for laundry dollars. Mm. You know, uh, I don't know in English how to say it. Lobbying. Yeah, land, laundry money. You know, laundry, laundry money. Laundering. Laundry. You, you know money. what that means. Yes, yes absolutely. In, in Panama, in Panama, all the all the buildings, all, buildings, all the only for that, you know. Mm -hmm. And and this uh, reporter is proving all this. And this week is uh, actually uh, in two days, uh, uh, the dipu the deputados in the Congress will vote mm -hmm. for uh, um, for if the president take the justice or not. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So it's a, a very important moment here. We don't want uh, her to take the I, justice. I, um, I appreciate, I, of course I do not understand as you understand because you are living there and I'm so sorry you are experiencing that because that is something that is not like one little problem. That is a big problem for Argentinians. Yes, no. They do. They are not. They are not really in control of what is going on. Um. But Pablo, I'm really sorry. I have to move on so that other people have a chance to speak. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. But a great expression of of your thoughts. Sometimes it takes getting a little angry about something to really express yourself. Um. Um, let's let's go on uh, to uh, Blanca. You had a big interest in this. Was the thing that you wanted to change political? No. No. <laughs> no, nothing to do with. I'm um, I'm you laugh because I have no time to think about any topic during the day. Oh, and do you want me to maybe, go to someone else first? Y yes. No, but uh, actually, I won't think about anything else during the class and what I'm going to say is not a big problem, it's just a crazy idea, it's just maybe a, an unreal thing. Uh -huh. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, um, you asked about, um, what is the question? Oh, sorry. What, what we would change in the world. Ah, okay, this is very old topic, but well. <laughs> 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 yes, I will change, I think I will change people's mind. <laughs> That's yeah, okay. So, what what so were you thinking? Um, no, I think if we change people's mind, uh, if we if we change what we think, the world would change. I mean, we can not try to change by external forces. And if we think in violence or corruption, for example, that's where we're going to get. And I think we have to. What I do is to change what we are focusing on. For mm -hmm. example, you can I say, Blanca, you can mm -hmm. say we need to change our priorities. Priorities. And while you're talking, I'm going to explain what that means in the chat. Mm -hmm. to, your priorities are like, when I say my number one priority is, let's say, school. I must do well in school. Mm -hmm. My second priority is verbling. I want to, uh, I, I need to do well in verbling. I love verbling. And, but of course, I must graduate my program. So my, my school has to be first. This is priorities. So you're saying we need to change our priorities. Yes, but thinking priorities. Mm hmm. Yes. I think so because I'm very involved in, in psychology topics and I do believe. Uh, we attract uh, things to our life uh, by the way we think, by our thoughts and, and our emotions. So if we always uh, think in negative or sad or depressed, that's what we are going to get. Uh, so I think the main problem or the main thing I will do is uh, work in education, but not just in technology or, or science, but in in values and in positive thoughts and good manners. I don't know. I, I think we have to build a stronger society. I agree with you. I think that's really, really important. Um, and, and I guess um, the reason I'm thinking you're saying changing our thinking priorities is because we are so caught up in thinking. You're right. You said you're interested in psychology. That's like your interest. And yes. the way we think always shows in what happens in our life. Yeah, always. True. So I, I agree with you 100%. Absolutely. Um, does anyone have um, something they would change in the world that is similar to Blanca's? Uh, I, no, I have a one. Hmm? They're not I have a one. <laughs> no, they, I think they agree with you, Blanca. I look at what everyone's writing in the chat. They're saying first health, then money. But we don't live like that. We will work until we die if we have to. Yes. So we will work and eat no and eat bad food and not exercise and not tell the people we love that we love them, right? We will work, work, work. So we don't realize. And someone says, uh, Huyen says, we're so money oriented. I agree with you, Huyen. Um, 
And uh, um, <laughs> Felipe says, we can buy a burger. Yes, it's true. It's not good, though. <laughs> Anyways, so I think everyone agrees with you, Blanca. Okay. Um, but Andre, what were you going to say? Yes, uh, wish I wish I can could. Uh, I wish I could exterminate the social difference around the world. That's impossible. <laughs> yes. No, because no, nothing it, is impossible. Uh, yes, <laughs> I agree, one. but <laughs> it, maybe if the, if the planet explodes, if I could, uh, I would you like not? to exterminate the social difference <laughs> and uh, provide a. Uh, Better life for the people. You want to yes, exterminate the perfectly. capitalism in Africa, for example, Asia, South America. And do you know what the main, the main thing, the main, I guess, political movement to try to change yes. those things? What, what was that called? Does anyone uh, know what I'm talking about? No. Well, communism. Oh yes. Ah, communism, yes. the, the real, the ideas around communism are beautiful ideas, just like what Andre yes. is saying, a beautiful there is idea. An, uh, there is a difference between communism and socialism? Oh, yes. Uh, yes, yes. I'm not very good at telling the difference, though. <laughs> oh, try but, it. But as long as the money moves world, it won't change. Yes. You are, I agree with you. I think that's sad. It's a uh, economical interests, I think. It, um, money makes the world go round. Yes, because it, in all the time the countries spent a lot of money with wars, uh, and the the people are suffering a lot because of the social difference. Yes, I know. It is it is so 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 sad. Um because you know we um I, I know I don't know a lot about Brazil, but in Canada and the United States we have the dream, which means everyone is supposed to have a good chance. Everyone should have the chance then oh, yeah. um uh, to succeed. But if you are born, like you said, in a lower social class, so in a lower social cl caste or a class or caste, we, we can call it, um, then you, you do not have the same chance as everyone else. If your parents are very poor or maybe they are into drugs or something, not those children do not have a chance. And yeah, it is they, always... Yeah, in Brazil, we have uh, serious social problems and the the people doesn't have uh, access a good uh, education system. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want you to have a good education, you need to pay. Oh. But uh, uh, almost uh, anybody has this kind of uh, possibility to pay a uh, a good uh, education. Right. In Brazil. But I think it happens in many countries. In Mexico, for example, the richest yes. man in the world, the richest man of the world is Mexican. And in Mexico, there are millions of poor people. Yeah. 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 He has serious, 90 serious. billion dollars. Yes. He right? has, oh my goodness. 90, 91 billion dollars, yes. I don't know, but he's the richest. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, I, I see that, um, Julian, you were talking a lot in the chat here. What is what is your opinion? Did your the thing you wanted to change? Did that have something to do with um, with the topic we are talking about about changing yeah. bad politics and stuff? I think the thing that I want to change is quite close to what Andres <laughs> is saying. It's going to change. Yeah, uh, it's about uh, discrimination. I. Yeah, I really want to get rid of discrimination, like between uh, uh, between regions, religions, uh, men and women, and economic class. Good. So yeah. you are talking about equality. Yeah. Equality. Um, what are uh, what are specific maybe experiences or what are things that really really bother you, the, the number one things you would change specifically? Yeah, 
specifically uh, is the discrimi discrimination between men and women. Because uh, when I, uh, after graduate, graduating high school, no, uh, university, I looked for a job. And uh, in the job uh, description, I think, uh, they, they require men with lower GPA and women with higher GPA. But even if you take a test and even if like everybody passed the test, for example, men will stand a higher chance to win, like to get a job, just because he's a man. Oh. Yeah. See, in, in Canada, in the United States is different, but in Canada, we don't have as many problems like that. So when I hear about that, it really upsets me. There's another expression, it's called, it really grinds, grinds my gears. So it really like, ugh, grinds my gears, makes me so angry. I'll put that in the chat. Um, wow, that's, a, that's a, another beautiful thing uh, to change in the world. Really, I mean, it, it looks like all of these problems that we're talking about have a lot to do with politics and the ways that our government kind of forces propaganda ideas on us, like Blanca's ideas were, even though she didn't talk about governments, I mean, the reason we think about money is because of the way that our governments have allowed our countries to be structured, right? Um, thank mm -hmm. you so much, Huyan. That's, that's amazing. So um, the, the topic you're talking about is equality. Yeah. Equality of, you can say equality of genders. Do you know what gender is? Yeah. Yes. Male or female. Yes. And sometimes we say that um, gender is like whether you choose to be feminine or masculine. So um, I am, I choose to be, a, I choose to be a woman, but I could choose to look like a man. So we, um, there is a difference between the word the word sex and the word um, gender because sex is biolo biology, so male or female, but gender is feminine or masculine because, as you know, in the world, we have many people who choose to be the opposite gender of their sex, which is male or female. So I just wanted to clarify the difference between those two words. Um, okay, great. Thank you so, so much, Julianne. Um, what about who wants to uh, go next? Who, who has another issue in the world, issue or problem, that they would like to speak about? Come Juan. on, guys. Who uh, wants to discuss? Who uh, A lot of things. There are a lot of things. I know. The, the contamination. Are. The contamination. Juan, Juan, Juan. Juan. Which one? Or Juan. is it Juan? Juan. Or John? Juan. Juan. Oh, maybe he, Juan. maybe Juan doesn't like us anymore because he's not speaking Juan. to us. But okay, he's, let's. He's, he's writing. He's typing in the chat. Well, Juan, we are asking you a question, and you should answer us. <laughs> um, that's okay. We'll go to someone else. Um, Ahmed, tell us what you're thinking. Uh, actually, I think that we should start from uh, the education itself. Uh, for instance, if we have a political or economical uh, problems, I think that actually they based on education system problems. For instance, here in Egypt, we have um, many problems regarding to our education systems. Here, most of people don't know uh, their rights and don't know their duties, and that's why we fell in dictatorship for more than 30 years and still going on with dictatorship even after uh, the revolution that we have recently. So I think we shall start to f uh, from the education itself. That is an amazing point. I am a teacher, so I believe, I am so, I agree with you so much. Um, if you educate your people to be slaves, they will be slaves to you. If you educate them not to be, and not to accept dictatorship, then they will not accept dictatorship. So, you are you are raising you are raising you um, just like children. You raise children as they grow up. The education system is now raising the children to be okay with this, but not satisfied with it. 
So they are allowing the dictatorship, but they are not happy with it. But they cannot do anything about it. That's what my, my president is, is doing here. That's what my president is doing here. That mm -hmm. she's cutting the money for the school. The 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 teachers uh, have no uh, uh, no no payment, and they strike. Wow. You know? mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That's what my president is doing. So that's why I'm so un hungry. Angry. 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 Yeah. Wow. Yes. Um, and um, Ahmed, can you give us some specific things about the education system that you are finding is uh, specifically like what is wrong with it? Does everyone have access to education? Uh, actually, um, politicians here uh, are focusing more in getting people uh, not really cultured or really get educated about the rights. For instance, I think that the United States are um, learn uh, teaching the students from um, the, the early age how to have uh, their political rights uh, and how to to vote, right? But actually, we don't have any kind of uh, things here in Egypt. We just have, you know, some stupid kind of education system that you should just uh, follow up the teacher and even the teacher himself or herself are a dictator in the class. You know what I mean? They don't give you the time to talk or express yourself. Oh my God. That is, um, do you know the word tragic? Yes, it comes from tragedy, right? So when you say something is tragic, it comes from the word tragedy. And the word tragedy does not just mean oh, something is sad. It means there is potential, which means, look, this, this, these people, these, you are, uh, these Egyptian people can do so much. They have so much potential. If you had them in, uh, raised right it, with uh, knowing their rights and uh, all of uh, educating them properly, they have so much potential, but instead they are brought down here as they get older to be slaves to their system, to the political system, because they are raised not to know what their rights are. Yes, exactly. Is there a difference between how girls and boys are educated in Egypt? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> we are suffering from the, the same problems. But here uh, we have some inequality between uh, boys and girls, or women and uh, men. But mm. this is regarding also to the culture, you know, as, as you may know, if you have a bad education system, you have a bad culture, you will have this kind of problems, you will have terrorist groups, you will have um, an equality between men and women, and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, in the United States, when they first said um, that education was mandatory and they started improving their education system. I mean, apparently Canada has, I think it's the third best education system um, in the world or something like that. And um, it, it is not heard of, if you are ever te treat a boy differently than a girl, if you ever treat a man differently than a girl in the workplace, you, it is a serious problem because women are so educated. So if you have half of the population is women, and if all of them are just as educated, the same amount have university degrees, then they have just as much power as men. Right? So yes. um, the United States used to say, if you, uh, the, the, the way that we can improve our country and make it a stronger country is to educate our women and educate um, foreign people. So if foreign people come or even um, when they before when they had slavery slavery of black people or African people they said we must educate the women and then they started saying okay we must educate the slave population or the, the uh, people who used to be slaves, so the black people as well, because we are not a nation unless everyone is educated. That was their idea. 
So that's really interesting. Um, and of course, they teach political rights all the time. But there are still problems, big problems. Yeah. Thank you so much for your perspective, Ahmed. I did not know that was going on in Egypt. After class, I'm going to go on Google and look it up. That's a good thank you. Yes, and um, you can type anything interesting in the chat if you think about it, um, about the system that's going on there, please. Um, okay, great. So um, let's get to um, Slim. We never got to say hello to you. Hi, Slim, and welcome. Hi, hi, Lauren. How are hi, you? welcome back. I ha you're another student I have not seen in a long time. <laughs> uh, I'm fine, thank you. Hi, Andrew. Okay. Hi. Mm. Uh, um, our question of today is: If you could change something in the world, what would it be? What would you change in the world? Uh, maybe I have in the world. Uh, okay. Mm, I think I have three points, three important points. First Great. point, uh, economically. Uh, the economical finance, I think, uh, must be changed. And the uh, strategy, politically, uh, political economy uh, must be changed too. Because I think uh, many we um, human beings are destroyed to destroy the earth by weapons, by uh, using nuclear energy and uh, fuels. Uh, this is why are very uh, dangerous for the health uh, of the earth, but with the greenhouse effects and that. Mm -hmm. Sick. Mm -hmm. uh, we see sometimes some uh, big countries like America and uh, other countries, they throw food in the sea. Um, I know. And they didn't, um, and they didn't get, uh, give that for hungry people that uh, they are dying every, every day. We have many. You can, you can say um, they are throwing waste. Waste. This means waste. garbage, food, waste from like the toilets. Some. Even, um, I think uh, it's more than. Uh, it's food, not the waste. Because oh. if, if you hear about uh, a boat of sugar that uh, throw it in the sea, it's not the waste, it's sugar, and sugar is a food. Yeah. If, if you um, learn about uh, some rice that is thrown in the sea also, or any, uh, any other food, it's for sure, it's, uh, it's uh, waste oh. of food. So you are saying we should throw our food in the ocean, we in the should. sea? Shouldn't I throw uh, the food in the ocean? We, we should. To... Sorry, um. So we should or we should not. We should not. Mm hmm. Ah, I'm not so crazy for that. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. Yes, we have to uh, to help uh, human being. It's they are human, not uh, un maybe. Uh, all, uh, in America, the uh, animals have rights, but. Uh, in Africa or in other countries like uh, um, I think uh, I think about Somal uh, in uh, Africa if you know about and there is a lot of countries they haven't the uh, food uh, for uh, for eating and they have millions they die for hungry and it's uh, it's point I will not explain so much because uh, I have not so much time I you have we have to uh, pass the uh, to other fans in the room to speak, but third point, it's education. I think uh, it's important that. So you agree with Ahmed? Uh, more than that, I think mm -hmm. uh, I have now. Uh, I know about uh, some stories that education in some countries are. Uh, we have to pay for educate our child. It's not uh, fair that it's we have. Uh, it's so. Uh, I. It seems for me. It's a right. It's a duty for the government to uh, educate the, the 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 child of uh, our child and uh, and to improve uh, science to uh, to improve to improve science mm. and uh, help, uh, to make uh, life better. 
Okay. I agree with you. Absolutely. I'm so impressed with all of your ability to express yourself, and I'm impressed with your ability to think so deep about this question because we are being, right now, we are being optimists. Optimists. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I am yes. optimist. But I, I, but I get if lost. you ask me uh, about uh, w if, can, if I can change something, if, um, for example, I want to say uh, if uh, the poor, uh, being poor, it's a man, I will kill him. Mm -hmm. It's for me. It's, a, it's changing for me. Um, it is changing for you. Yes. I, if I can change that, mm -hmm. I will kill him. But uh, poor is not the man, <laughs> and we have to fight that to help other. Uh, we are human. We are all uh, all of us we are living in this uh, little life. Eighteen, maybe eighteen, maybe more, maybe uh, maybe less. But we have to help each other. We are here. Maybe we are different. Yes, I am black. I am I am white. I am. I am Chinese, I am Asiatic, I am African, I am European, I am American, I am Australian, but this is no changing for us. We are all human. We are here to know each other and communicate, to help each other to live in this earth, not to destroy, destroy that. That's all for me. I hope that I am not so long, take so, so long time. Uh, it's okay. No, 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 no. I'm actually typing something that you've said right now. So that's why I wasn't talking. I just wanted to say, you're saying our religion and the color of our skin do not distinguish us from other human beings. That means you and I, if we have different color skin, we are not actually different. We are not really different. You may say, oh, well, you're different than me because you have you are Christian and I am a Muslim or I am Jewish but we are not different we are all the same we and the expression I want to say is we are all in the same boat this is an expression have you heard of Noah's Ark yes yes the same situation <laughs> Noah's Ark he um, the whole world everyone died except for everyone in the ark and Essentially, we are all descendants. We are all the children of Noah. of Noah. I know and that. I mean, <laughs> I, I I don't know if I believe in the in the biblical stories, but the idea is that if we are all coming from the same place, we are all in the same boat. We are, all, and you people say this all the time. Wow. Yeah. We say liter literally the same thing in French. It's exactly the Pardon same. Me? We uh, we say literally the same thing in French in French. Oops, we are all in the same boat. In the Sorry. Same boat. On est tous dans le même so we are all in the same boat. Yes, de definitely. Oh, so Killian is saying, "Am I the only one that thinks we are all different?" We are. We are individuals. Yes, we are individuals, but we are not individuals that are going to fight each other to become better than each other. That will not make the world a better place. If we say, I'm an individual, I'm a verbling teacher, you are an individual, you are an engineer from wherever. Um, um, we are all from different countries here. We are all very different, but yet we are all in the same boat. We are all the same. Deep, deep down, we have the same DNA. We have the same yes. DNA. There's Our nothing different. Our we need to be friends. Interfere yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Juan, are you ready to talk? Can you talk for us? We want to hear your opinion. No, no, not really. Yes, but this Juan. is a speaking class. Go. Yeah, yeah I, I know that it's a speaking class, but I, I, I don't know what to say. That's so. all. Go. Okay, your opinion. If you, uh, I, I give my opinion about, for example, what what uh, Slim said. I was lost in the, in, uh, how to say, uh, I catch some words, but not everything. So, uh, but uh, uh, what it said is, I think it's um, like a, you want that a dream come true. So you can uh, think positively. And doing the co the things positively, but uh, it's hard to do it. So something uh, someone said uh, that there is no 
uh, is can, it can be possible. I think you everything everything can be possible if you think positively. So I just wrote here in the chat because I agree with you, Juan. Um, I said sometimes it is hard to be an optimist. An optimist, yeah. someone who always is saying, yes, good, yay, this is a problem, but that's okay. We will find a solution. Yeah, yeah, and because if you worry, you don't, uh, uh, you have, it's no solution for nothing. You mean there is not a solution for everything? For every okay, yes. Thank you. Is, so you say that to me. Say that to me, Juan. There is but, not but, a solution for everything. There is there is no a solution for everything. Good. But I'm sorry. I want to add something. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is no solution for everything, but there is always an optimal solution that will be the most and the best one for that. Uh, we need to be positive. Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we can. <laughs> Maybe because so. if not, the, 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 all these stuffs are lost. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I mean, I, and I also agree with Juan. Sometimes you look around you and you say, how there is so much pain in the world. How can we fix everything? How can we change this? There is so much, many bad things happening. But at the same time, is it better to be like that and say, you know, there is no solution. There's too much damage. But yes, but maybe we cannot undo the damage, but we can move forward. So being an optimist does not mean we can fix this, but maybe it means we can stop doing damage. We can stop doing stop these yeah. bad things. Um, we have a couple newcomers to us and thank you so much Juan. We appreciated you speaking. Oh no 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 thanks to you for uh, encouraging me. Who what? Who what? Who what? I didn't do anything. That was Andre and Blanca. Andre and Blanca are good team players. I, I got a, a fan club. <laughs> yeah. Who <laughs> Juan, Juan, Juan. <laughs> you are invited to drink something with me. <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate. Um, we have Os here. Hi, Os. How are you doing today? Hello, I'm fine, thanks. Os, Os Ray? Uh, yep, my name actually is hmm, Osama. What about um, Pate? Pate Marco? <laughs> Pate. <laughs> and what about Felipe? <laughs> this okay, is strange. I'm, Do you see hi. these people in the hangout? I'm, I'm hi. Um, Andre, can you see that we have three people in the hangout with like white like, blocks? Yes, it's uh, Tariq. The name is. Yeah, like I have a Felipe. Tariq. Tariq. Hmm, yeah, I, I can't see like who. Because I, I. Yeah, for some reason I'm trying to speak to them, but they, they are not answering all of them. So maybe there's a problem with the hangout. I do not know. We have Tariq, Osama, and Khaled. Her music. Oh, I don't have those people. I have Os Ray, Pate Marco, and uh, Felipe Ugliara. Yes. You don't have the same people. No. Can you hear me? No. Oh no! What? Well, something must be going strange in the hangout. So I'm very sorry. What about Killian? Killian, are you there? Are you there? We have an echo. Do you hear an echo? Yes, I am. Yes, I, am. I don't hear an echo. Hear Do, you? Do you? Do you hear an yes. echo? Yes. Well, I no, I don't hear anything. Hey, Lauren. Can you hear me? Hold on. That's so strange. I'm just ejecting. I'm just ejecting the people mm -hmm. who uh, who are not talking. Um, because. Pardon me. Blanca, what did me? you say? No, I, I don't know what is happening. <laughs> this is very, very strange. I was yes. listening to an echo. Yeah, you can, yes, I think I, it has stopped. Okay, good. Oh, and Blanca, a little suggestion. When you are saying, I was 
uh, hearing, the difference between hearing and listening. So hearing means you could be sitting outside and you are just hearing things and you are not necessarily paying attention. So um, you are not trying to listen to something. So, um, sorry, when you say you are listening to something, it means you are thinking about it and you are focused on this thing. In English, sometimes uh, in a relationship, someone will say to someone, are you listening to me? And they'll say, yes. And you'll, the person will say, I know you hear my words, but are you listening? Would so you hearing... Hmm? No, no, please go ahead. So hear, hearing, hearing means that the words are going into your ears and you, you are hearing them, but maybe, um, so for example, uh, Blanca, you would say in that situation, I was, I was hearing, I was hearing a sound yes. as I was trying to listen to you, because you were trying to listen to me, but you were hearing something else. Yes. I know okay. it's kind of difficult, but I just wanted to tell you that. Um, no, okay, I got good. it. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Good. Good. I really appreciate it because every day you we learn. A Good. Lot. Good. I'm so glad to hear that one. I my dream my dream in life yeah. is to be a really good teacher. So but, that means a lot to me, and I appreciate that. Not you are doing very well. Well, maybe maybe I'm a good teacher, or maybe you are all optimists. <laughs> no, it's a fact. <laughs> maybe, maybe. It's a fact. <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> yes. You are um, real as my... A questionable audience. fact. A <laughs> questionable fact. <laughs> you know, that is a very big compliment, Andre. I would be careful with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, what did you say, Blanca? <laughs> I was just kidding. I said that you were as good teacher as my unreal topic. Oh, as your unreal... <laughs> but it's just the kidding, of course, you're a good teacher. Blanca, why don't you explain to the class, what does that expression mean, unreal? It's not real. You can't touch it. You, it will never happen. Why? What? <laughs> because it was a crazy what idea. Was... It was nothing material that's happening right now. I wish it could happen sometimes, but it's very difficult. Yes. So that's a really good word that I want you to learn. Unreal. This is why it is, it is a good word because when you say, um, for example, this is, this is a sad example, but we were talking about political, um, really sad political situation. So you all know about Hiroshima, right? Or Hiroshima? Yes. Yeah. Japan. Who's from Japan? Yes. Um, so when Hiroshima happened, some people experienced it. They were there and they survived. Or they watched it happen from a long distance away. And they said it was unreal. Because they knew they were seeing it, but they could not believe they were seeing it. So when you say the word unreal, it means you do not believe it is happening. Because it is so amazing but uh, when I say amaze to be amazed means you were like so when you say you are amazing it is a nice compliment because you are saying when I look at you I say oh, I can't believe this you are you are amazing me I am amazed at, at you it's like, it's like uh, when the John say no way yeah it can be yes absolutely yeah. So, Juan, good point, because some people use the word unreal to mean little things. So, for example, let's say you are eating pizza. Have you all eaten pizza before? Yes, yeah. Yes. Yes. It's a uh, real pizza. <laughs> yeah. oh. Sometimes people will eat pizza and they will say, no way, this is so good. This is the best pizza I've ever had. They sometimes will say, oh my god, oh my god, this is so good, this is unreal, this is unreal. So mm -hmm. unreal mm -hmm. means amazing, like so good. Mexican food is unreal. Good, good example, good example. What? Brazil has a Mexican unreal food. samba. 
Mexican what? Mexican food is unreal. I don't think so. Our, 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 uh, I agree. I don't think so. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Slim. Was that Slim? Did Slim say he does not think so, or was that... Yeah. We're gonna have a fight here. Yeah, a pelea. <laughs> Verbling fight. Let's go. Yes. Okay, the best yes. class. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just realized um, that we are out of time. I know. So I have oh. my my next class is happening, but I just want to say to everyone who is trying in the class, there is a problem with Hangouts right now. So I'm not seeing your face, and I'm not seeing a profile picture. And when I try to talk to you, uh, you are not actually in the Hangout. And the other students are seeing different people in the Hangout. So if you tried to join the Hangout now, and you think you are in the Hangout, for some reason, uh, it is not actually connecting you to the Hangout. So I'm very sorry okay. about that. I'm very yes. sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I, I included my Verbling and Facebook information there if you would like to follow me or look at my page. But right now, I'm going to start my next class where we will learn idioms or expressions. Okay. 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 I hope to Thank see you, you there. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.